Hello, we're Everett and Pearl Harris from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're Patty's parents, and we're so proud of her and excited to see what she got for us today. Let's get the show on the road. <music> Great day to be at Aline's Creative Living because we have all kinds of cool things planned for you. And Heidi is wearing a great vest today that's part of a contest. This is the Dress Heidi contest that's going on all month long and today's winner is from Lucille Levin from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Isn't this beautiful? It's perfect yes. because Heidi, you're the kind of person that butterflies would flock to. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you are covered in butterflies. I am. They're on the back, they're on the front, they're on the sides. And uh, she's taken a t-shirt and uh, made it into a vest. Painted? Well, now I have her yes. letter. Okay. It says, Dear Aline, I would like to enter the Dress Heidi contest. I have enclosed the vest that I created from a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I used Aline's stick and hold for all the edges, and I loved it. I watched your show for years, but have never entered your contest before. You are all fantastic on the show and are constantly inspiring me to try new crafting projects. I suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, and it isn't always easy to create while having no energy, but your show always gives me a boost. Isn't that great? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I suffer from having four kids, and I'm exhausted syndrome, <laughs> but, but I know, but chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome is very serious yes, and is. good for you for being able to do that. That just goes to show that anyone can enter the contest That's and possibly right. win. That's true. Now we also have a cute little outfit. We have some footage of Skylar here. And she's got this little teddy bear and this little teddy bear sweater. And it's made from a sweatshirt. It's covered with lace and trims, and this is going to keep her warm on a snuggly cold fall and, day. And the winner? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sorry, Yvonne Lord from <laughs> Frankenville. Frankenville, New York. So thank you so much for sharing that with Skylar cute, today. Cute, idea. That's right. Well, on with today's show. Speaking of kids, if your kids are like mine, they are totally into lizards and frogs. We have a really <laughs> wonderful wearable that your kids are going to just love. If you've been thinking of joining the Aline's Craft Club, we have a special offer that's good today only. So why not take advantage of having dozens of craft ideas delivered to your door every month? Why not? Well, now, speaking of ideas, you guys, if you're into scrapbooking, we have a memory album technique that's as easy as ABC. We also have some gilded gift ideas. And you know, we say it all the time, but it's true. It's never too early to start decorating for the holidays. They'll be here before you know it. And I need to take off because I'm going to challenge. <laughs> okay. Boy, we've been go waiting for this, Heidi. Go. Go, <laughs> go. Now, if you like to decorate for Halloween, you'd better get started right away. Jilly Bean Fitzhenry will be stopping by to show us a perky pumpkin to get you going. That's right. And Patty will capture a beautiful design under glass mm -hmm. with a reverse collage technique that can be used for everyone's home decor. Wow, it sounds like we have quite a few ideas today. There's something for everyone. That's right. And we know from all your cards and letters that many of you are interested in the Heidi Challenge. So we're going to kick off our show today with Lean Heidi and the Holiday Bottle People. Let's take a look. Hi, everyone's going to be so excited. You're our back with <laughs> Heidi Challenges. Da, da, da. <laughs> this is Heidi Challenge time, and uh, we are looking forward to all your trash being mailed to me so you can challenge me. <laughs> right, and you know, we do need it because you're just starting again. Mm -hmm. In fact, what you're doing today, you did without I crediting myself. somebody with the Heidi sending. Borchers. <laughs> but if they do send your, the uh, trash in, and you do use their trash, they get a gift. And they need to send in at least three of whatever they're going to challenge with and uh, uh, make sure it's clean and, uh, and no, um, medical, no medical. No medical, right. okay. And, and you have a wonderful idea today with bottles, and that's what tells me that even though you, get, you did bottles a year ago and you did mm -hmm. bottles four years ago, you always still come up with something new. Well, also, well, I seem to always come up with an angel. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of the way I do things. But what I wanted to show was to take different bottles and don't feel like you have to do exactly what I've done. You might not have a wooden uh, bead or wooden head in your 
um, craft room, you may have a ping pong ball that you can use. You might have a styrofoam ball that you can use. Um, just you know, use what you have and don't feel like you have to do exactly this. This is just giving you kind of a creative idea to use different bottles. These are all plastic bottles. Um, the snowman, I think, is, is a mouthwash of some kind. The, um, the little angel is a, um, like a Windex bottle. And I poured my Windex out. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> okay. And uh, my, this was my husband's mouthwash, so I poured it out. <laughs> so um, just, you know, um, take a look at the bottles and the shapes. I love the shapes of the bottles for figures. Mm -hmm. That's why I've chosen them for different figures. Now, remember, I'm doing for the holiday, but you could do for, you could do an Easter bunny at the Easter bunny. You could do um, a scarecrow for, for like, Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. so you could use a little girl, a little doll, right. all kinds mm -hmm. of things. And another thing I wanted to show you, too, is, like, the angel... Just by taking a plastic bottle and what you use on it, use a real pretty lace on it, and look at how elegant it looks. Now, this is the first time that I've seen you uh, where you actually glued the lace onto mm -hmm. the bottle rather than, you know, to have it come out in a right. little fluffy Well, I started skirt. out, I was going to do the same old thing. I was going to do the lace down the front or, you know, like a little dress with it. But this was so elegant, I thought, you know, I need to show that you can make a plastic bottle look elegant. And I think that's what I've done there. It doesn't look like a plastic bottle when you're no, done. You no, can't, you couldn't tell that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the snowman today, just a, a quick um, uh, how-to on him. And you can do the same thing. Now, on the, on the angel, I spray-painted her gold first. But on the snowman, I decided I wanted to just kind of have fun. And I was having trouble with um, some of these labels because some of them... You cannot you can't get, get them off, off, no matter so what. So just go over them. Just don't pay attention to it. And I'll even show you a little secret in a second what I did. If they have a name of the product on the, the bottom, the snowman has the name of the product on the bottom of it, but... We took a little uh, snow drift and went right over it. <laughs> so that's what you do. Um, you just do the whole thing with, um, with and that. I like it where it's sponge too because then it gives you kind of a, a different that, that's texture. That's a real snowy, mm -hmm. uh, kind of an icy look to it, isn't, isn't it? it? So then for your, the head, you're going to take and you're going to do a running stitch all the way around, and this is a nine-inch circle. Now this is where I wanted to show you that just the technique of of taking fabric, and you know any of these could be, you know, an angel could have. You could use beige fabric and, and do a head for an angel. Just you know, make it a little bit smaller, depending on your size. And then uh, you're just going to fill it with some batting. Oh, OK. I will pull. I'm going to let you put that in there. Put it in. And we'll pull it. And you mm. need a lot of batting on these things. It's a good thing I'm not sewing. <laughs> <laughs> OK. We'll just put you the pull. whole thing in there. You pull, I'll hold. Now, what's really neat about this, then, is just take it put it up on this bottle, and then just pull it real tight, and you have this, and then I glued, put, put some hot glue on it. But then you have a head, and you have to kind of push it around a little bit where you want it, and shape uh, it. Shape it, and then just dress him. You know, put a hat uh -huh. on him, and, but you could do this for any of them. And again, this is an inexpensive idea, and we're oftentimes looking for some inexpensive ideas for decorations for our home, and to sell. Wouldn't this mm -hmm. be good for a bazaar? Or for table centerpieces. And this would be great for even children to do. They right. would love to do it. Right. Just what? using, oh, you, you lost your head. <laughs> <laughs> but let's take a look at the two, because they are instructions that we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about. Right. And thank you for sharing with us today. Children love wearables, and Heidi's come up with a great design that's very popular today. Heidi, kids are so into lizards and geckos and, and bugs and, and all kinds bugs of and things. insects. Well, this technique that I'm going to show you, you could use for any kind of bug. You just have to draw, you know, whatever the kids can draw or you want to draw, you can do the same thing just using this technique I'm going to show you. Well, this is a great look. I know my daughter would like this. How do you start? Just take your fusible web, place it over your pattern. And then you're just going to trace it on. Super simple. That's you know, so kids, easy. Have the kids do it. And you're going to trace it on the paper side. When you have fusible web, the, um, there's a side that kind of feels like sandpaper. Okay. And then there's a paper side. You're going to take that. You're going to put it on the back of your fabric. And you're going to iron it on. Just iron it in place. And then all you're going to do is just trim it up. Just kind of cut it, you know, just cut it. And let me show you. I've got one here ready. And through the magic of television, Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. I have one. Oh, I, you know, this looks great with a floral design. It, it shows you how different it is. Put that there for you. And just pull that paper off because you put the fusible web onto the back. So we're just going to pull the paper off. Boy, fusible web sure has made a difference in anything applique, hasn't it? It, it sure has. It's incredible. Get all the paper off. Now, pretend like this is your wearable. You know, I was, I was thinking I didn't bring a t-shirt to put this on, but wouldn't this even make a cool um, pillow? 
Oh yeah. And any design, mm -hmm. any design with any fabric. And you're just gonna then you're gonna iron it on. And you have an instant wearable. Voila. Now what I like to do for just for fun is to add a little bit of the um, dimensional paint, but my dimensional paint is stuck, so we're gonna you know, let me show this real quick. Just okay. take a, a needle or something and push that through to open that up, put it back. Always test it. Boy, I bet a lot of people didn't even know that you could take the top no, off. It didn't come off. So anyway, what I would just do is just put little dots all around. Okay. And that's what, you know, real simple. You don't have to put anything on it, but just for fun and the kids, and you can do all kinds of designs. So you know, let them just get be free with whatever they want to do. Well, I think that's so important, letting the kids getting get involved in what you're creating. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to ask you, where can we find all these great ideas? It's in the Aline's Big Book of Crafts. It's a wonderful continuity. You subscribe to it, so every about every four to six weeks, you get a packet of different kinds of cards, and there's all kinds of different sections. We have Christmas fun. We have creative celebration, wonderful wearables, jewelry, hearth and home, paper pleasures, no so magic, child's play, easy group projects. So there's something for everyone. Wow. Heidi, breathe. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I we do, have a newsletter that we'll autograph. We'll even personalize it for you. We're going to tell that. them about it in just a little bit. Right. And then tips and techniques. Mm -hmm. Now, everything fun. comes on a card, and like the one, the, the outfit that I just showed you is on a card for child's play. Because like I said, there's a whole selection of uh, things that are in child's play. And on the back, it has all the information you need. There's the pattern. And look how easy it is to do. It's great. Super, super And speaking simple. of projects for everybody, boy, look how beautiful this um, couch caddy is. Isn't that neat? To put all your little goodies on from your couch, you could use it maybe in your bedroom, just kind of stick it under the, mat the mattress. It's no sew. There's no sewing on that. It's all glued. I've been looking for this. <laughs> <laughs> I took it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wonderful to have a place for things to go. And then this is a great Christmas tree gift container. Now, I made this tree before the box maker was here. So I made oh, every single wow. little box and scored it. But now it would be wonderful to do this with the box maker and just cover all these different boxes. They actually open, so you can put little uh, presents in. It's kind of like a little advent tree. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you. And then instructions on the back. Uh-huh. And oh, you can see how simple that is. Mm -hmm. Now, is Heidi, it? I know everyone loves bread dough, and you have outdone yourself with this well, project. thank you. <laughs> this is the pansies and the leaves are made out of just a slice of bread and a tablespoon of glue. And you mix it together with a little bit of paint, and you make the, the flowers. And there is a there is a uh, card on it in the hearth and home, and it's a wonderful project to uh, to do for in a very inexpensive. This is a wonderful program to be a part of, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. If you in the Aline's Craft Club, there is something for everyone, from kids' crafts to history of crafts. Right. Well, you know, in addition, of course, to your cool crafts for kids d designs that you have, mm -hmm. you have your challenge Heidi's. And you know what? I think of all the letters we get, probably 99 out of 100 <laughs> want the so-called recycled mm -hmm. type of crafts. And we do that a lot with the kids' crafts, but the Heidi Challenge is back. Okay, let's take a look at the first design that you have back there that's in this month's uh, In the September club. issue of uh -huh. the Craft Club, here's the Heidi Challenge, one of them. And this is just on different bottles and showing you how to use uh, your different bottles from uh, mouthwash to... Uh, Window spray. And I love what you did with the uh, body of the angel because it's a completely different elegant. procedure there, mm -hmm. right? Very elegant and uh, lots of fun to do. Now remember, all the instructions that we're showing you are available in the Aline's Craft Club. Now what must be what, 80? I think so. there's at least 75 to 80 every month. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you have loads and loads of ideas. You know, no matter what you s decide to do, you can find something in Craft Club. Right. That's if I get my projects done in time for, for printing, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's some cute little Halloween bags. These are the ones that are on the front cover of the September issue. This is using the, the stick and hold, and they're done by Joan Fee. And you know what? Somebody ate the popcorn. Uh-oh. I, I was wondering what happened and asked for the popcorn, Did and you? it was all gone. Did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to... Um, show you the, the craft club because there's some wonderful things. Every month there is uh, coupons. There's at least seven different coupons. And uh, this that I'm showing you right now is the um, July issue. And uh, every month it shows you all the um, get acquainted kits. So if you missed a day and you wanted to know what was on, it shows you what was available. And uh, on the back is wonderful um, 
way that you can comment to us and suggest to us what you want on the show or you know, have any suggestions of what's and on we, the show? You know, we do get a lot of letters, but we want more because we're trying to do, we're trying to make this program something that you really, really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And we're listening to you. You'll mm -hmm. notice we're doing a lot of crafting these days. Except for right now. <laughs> <laughs> also in the, um, cr the uh, craft uh, club is the announcement of the Aileen's Crafter of the Year contest, which is a wonderful contest that's coming up. You need to get your designs, um, your pictures of your designs in before the 31st of December, so start working on it. And we had wonderful, the last time we did the mm -hmm. contest, we had wonderful designs. It seemed to me like there were over a thousand uh, that were lot. submitted to mm -hmm. us and took us a little while to get through them yeah. and, and to choose. But, but you we, know, on th this year, that what you get is a thousand dollars in cash, $1,000 assorted Aline's product, uh, products, mm -hmm. a paid trip to Builton. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll, I'll take them out to dinner. <laughs> okay, you heard it here. <laughs> Heidi, you've got something very special today only. What is it? Right. If you sign up today and you join for a three-month continuity, you get the fourth month, month for free, and it's eleven ninety five value. So, you know, a continuity is when you subscribe to it. On a regular basis, On a regular basis. basis. Right. So if you sign up for three months, you'll get the fourth month for free. That's today okay. only. Today only. How can you beat that? Right. Well, they can call our, our telephone number anytime and get any information. Because we, we keep talking about so many things, I don't think they can get it all down. No, but the operators, they know everything. They can, if they don't know, they can get the answer for you. Let's see, I think we have a couple more projects. We have the butterflies that are out of the crepe paper. And these are wonderful. They are by Cheryl Ball. And uh, these are in the craft club this month. And then we... Um, the candles, I forgot to mention, that were by uh, Lauren Johnston. Uh -huh. And what about the Santa? Santa's by Heidi. <laughs> I, lo I love the beard. Isn't that cute? That That's is another with, recycling. Um, the recycling using the little bubbles that you get in packaging. And uh, that was a kid's, that's a kid's project this month. So all kinds of new things. And uh, be sure that you uh, join and become a member today. So give the operators a call. And there's all kinds of savings, special savings that pay for your subscription. I don't let them forget that every month I do something on history and it's on the ribbons. Uh, yeah, this, this the particular. September issue right. is uh, with ribbons. And we're going to have two instruction sheets on ribbons that I know you'll like. If you saw Heidi doing the ribbon rose, mm -hmm. the little uh, flora by the ribbon rose, you're going to want to be sure to have craft them this month so you get the instruction. Right. Thank you so much. Coming up next, Patty will be here with the ABCs of scrapbooking. Here's a handy tip for your painting projects. Keep in mind the surface you're working on when selecting your paints. Products such as glass or fabric paints are specifically designed to ensure the best results every time. Sometimes it seems like scrapbooking pages all seem the same, but with a technique from Pixie Press, your pages will stand out and be noticed. Patty recently taught Catherine the ABCs of an exciting new scrapbooking technique. If you're looking for a great way to organize your photographs that's as easy as ABC, you're going to love this new book by Pixie Press. And Patty, I welcome you today as somebody representing Pixie Press. <laughs> that's right. They have got a great new memory album system. They have the paper that you need for it and a great idea book. Now, this is something that I've not seen before. A lot of the pages in this book don't have any photographs in them. Why is that? That's so that you can put them in there as categories. You can do something for the A, the B, the C, and so forth, all the way to Z. This is one of my favorite pages. Isn't this adorable? It's very cute. And I guess you don't say, I can't do this page because I don't have this perfect photo that looks like this. Mm -hmm. It leaves you open to using your photographs and coming up with your own ideas. That's right. Now, I like this because they've got the 8 by 11 and a half pages and they've got the 12 by 12. There are both ideas in there. And this A for apples is just adorable. Mm -hmm. This is really cute. So if it's from A to Z, I could complete a whole scrapbooking book. And how many pages would that be? It's a test, Patty. <laughs> 26. 26. <laughs> OK, this is kind of neat. Now, should we look at some of these pages? Let's do this. Should now, I, I would binder? love to look at the binder because it's all finished when you start from A to Z. Oh, cute. And you have all different kinds of ideas. Now, they don't have the die cuts, but they give you all the ideas and all the sources to get this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, those are really cute. So Aren't instead of going, I can't make that page because mm -hmm. I don't have the right photos, I can say, oh, this wouldn't this be great with my photos? Uh -huh. Oh, I like that. And this is the 8.5 by 11, but we've got some great <gasps> 12 by 12. Oh, look at that page. Isn't I like great? it. <laughs> Nap time. Such great colors. 
The paper is just wonderful. Uh -huh. Look at these ideas. Now let's go to the book for a little bit, Catherine. Okay. I really adore this. On each page, they give you ideas also other than just one. See, this one has the smaller page and the large page, and then they have all these ideas from baby to buttons and bows and everything in between, bicycles, birds, boats. Isn't that a great thing? So there's 26 um, ideas for the 8 and a half by 11, mm -hmm. 26 for the 12 by 12, plus all the visual ideas for you to right. think about. Well, that is, that is a lot of ideas. It really is. And then in the back, they even give you theme ideas for kids, Christmas, weddings, and babies. Oh, this is great. <laughs> now, you've got some other real cute pages here. Should we peek at them? Yes. Okay, there's J's for Jack in the box. Ooh, I is for Isn't that ice yummy? cream. I hope they have an H is for hot fudge. <laughs> D is for dog. Well, you are coming up to my best paper. This one right here. This one oh, is just the best. Look at that. P is for pie. This I is so these. cute. You know, these techniques are a little bit, um, oh, I don't know, fresh, I think. Fresh they as really a pie. Are. Now, anybody would want their picture on this page, wouldn't they? Oh, sure. <laughs> Let me show you a little bit of how it's done. This is the paper, of course, and look at all the great colors. Isn't this beautiful? Mm -hmm. Really cute paper. And this one is on the quiet time. Isn't that sweet? Mm -hmm. uh, with all the papers you can uh, put the hearts and the little squares and cut out circles and uh, this one has already be been begun. It's for quiet time and you just cut it out like so until you have the little letters and then you just start building like so. Isn't this cute? Mm -hmm. Now what they've done here is gone around the uh, letter with a little uh, felt tip pin, and then they started building the uh, places to put your photos. Isn't that simple? That's awfully cute. But it's just layer upon layer. I love the texture you get here, and then you put your photos on very last. Oh, yes. Now, we've also got the 12 by 12. Isn't this colorful? Mm-hmm. I like this. Should we peek at these? Uh-huh. Now, on these, these are all in the, the idea book, all these that we're looking at today. So you'll actually be able to find the sources for all these pieces. What a nice thing that mm -hmm. they did. And they're acid-free papers, and you get 25 sheets in your kit. Oh, so this is really going to help you get going, and you can create a wonderful kit with this. We're so glad you're back for another fun half an hour of Aline's Creative Living. If you're looking for new ideas, you are in the right place because the second half an hour of our show is filled with so many different crafts ranging from elegant to funky and fun. And Frances Valera from Delta will be here with an elegant holiday gift jar. Jelly Bean Fritz Henry's Perky Pumpkin will put you in the mood for Halloween. And Patty will demonstrate one of her specialties, the technique of reverse collage. But first, it's time for sharing. You've got a letter, don't you, Heidi? I do. It is from Don D. Smock from Tucson, Arizona. On the cover, she says, Heidi, trash to treasure. That's your theme. <laughs> it says, my mom saved these milk lids for years. My kids sit around for hours playing with them. Then I saw it on someone's tree at Christmas, and I ran home to make one. Here it is. I made a drum with plastic canvas. Here's the sample. Now the big thing is, what can you think of to make with using the milk caps? Oh, Happy well, let's crafting. show how she put the drum together. Because okay. I was playing with these, and you look at it and you go, "Hey!" So you just roll up the plastic canvas after you decorate uh -huh. it. Put it and in. Then... Isn't this clever? Yeah. Hold on. Now she challenged us, didn't she? Ta-da! Yeah. Okay, she so what else could this be? <laughs> well, it looks like a bug cage for Ooh, me. Ooh, yes, for kids. it does. Good. It does Very look good. like a bug cage. Bigger and bugs, so they can't come out. Yeah. <laughs> no spiders. No spiders or mosquitoes, please. <laughs> and couldn't you get be like a birdhouse for a Barbie? Oh, sure. Barbie doll? Sure. Maybe a hat box for a Barbie. Wheels? Oh, yeah. Milk caps wheels. are really good yeah. for wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that uh, milk caps are good for too is uh, anything with jewelry because you can glue onto it, well, you can glue sure. things inside. That's true. You can. Uh, hey, a table and a futon. Oh, <laughs> now I saw you playing with them earlier a little bit. Okay. <laughs> or it could be eyeballs. <laughs> I like these. I do this with everything. Shit. Actually, they could be for larger things. Why not paint them white and put a little eyeball in them? That's oh, true. How fun. Yeah. Hey, hey, irises. you challenge me and all of us and look out. We thought they were milk caps and they're irises. <laughs> they're blue. See how you can get creative with this show? Yeah. <laughs> well, we you definitely sure have a good time and we want to thank her for that letter. That was And so for sweet. her great idea because we had a lot of fun with it today. Super. Thank you for sharing. Now coming up next, adding gilded accents to your projects has never been easier. Our next guest will add silver snowflakes to glass jars in seconds. Stay tuned. 
If you're looking for some gilded accents for the holidays, we've got just the right thing for you. This is Frances Valera from Delta, and she's going to show us some great projects. Welcome, Frances. Thank you. Yeah, today I've got a great project that we can do. It uses two of our primary products, perm enamel, paint for glass, and tile, and holiday instant gilded accents by Renaissance Foil. This is the project that we're going to do today. It's a gorgeous frosted oh, it gift is. jar. Very, very pretty. And this is actually hand-painted, isn't it? It is, and it's so simple to do. It looks like a great gift idea, but it'll just take a few minutes. I can't believe this takes just a few minutes. And the snowman is so cute on the front of this jar. Is it actually hand-painted also? It is, yes. <laughs> and the permit. snowflakes are all so bright and shiny. So it, is it like a gilded type thing? It is. It's really a very fast, fun, and easy way to do gilding on gifts, any kind of gifts. It works on any kind of surface, yes. porous and non-porous. The particular one that we're looking at today, the reason you see all those sparkles is because we've included some hologram foil in it. <gasps> oh, I wondered how it got so glittery and bright on there. Yeah, it's a, lot of, pretty. a lot of good color for you. Well, I can't wait for you to show us just how to do this. Great. Well, let's get started. Our uh, supplies that we'll need are the Holiday Instant Gilded Accents. This package here is the Snowflakes design. We'll also need, uh, I've got the Frosted Looks by Perm Enamel Cobalt Blue mm. that we'll sponge on. We'll need the Surface Conditioner for Perm Enamel. You always need to start with that when we're starting out our glass projects. Right. Uh, some sponges and a palette. Well, that doesn't take much to make something no. so gorgeous, does it? It sure doesn't. What I've done here is I've already prepped my surface with the surface conditioner. Okay. You need to wash a jar real thoroughly with soap and water, let it dry, brush on a real liberal coating of the surface conditioner, mm -hmm. and then let that dry. All right. So we're all ready to go here. So what we'll do is you can either use the two ounce bottles of the perm enamel, or mm -hmm. you can get the small kit, which we've got uh, oh, okay. here as well. Either one. Um, the kit gives you some more options in terms of color if you're going to do more than one project. So we've got this on our palette. We'll just simply start sponging away. Oh, this looks so simple. Yeah, you, you need to put a couple of coats on here. Okay. And then um, you'll, let, you'll let this dry between coats. With these sponges, it's real easy to get a nice even coating. You just go over and sort of work the paint. Ah, um, so the sponges are part of the kit also, right? Um, they're not part of this kit, no, it's a separate product. Okay, okay. Uh, our Cherish Memory sponges, any kind of makeup sponge will work just fine. So uh, this you can see you need to put several layers on here. Um, you can also base coat in a white beforehand if you'd like. Okay. So then? Then when we put several coats on it, how does it look then? It looks like this. <laughs> All right. It looks like this. You'll get a nice, deep, rich cobalt color. So then what we'll do is... Each package of Holiday Instant Gilded Accents comes with some great project ideas on the front. And then inside, we've got two sheets of, these are actually adhesive designs okay. that are silkscreen printed between two pieces of release paper. Uh -huh. And then we have coordinating foil. Now this package has the hologram foil that I mentioned, but mm -hmm. each package has different coordinating foil colors depending on the design. Okay. So we can go to our hobby stores and find these uh, items, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what you do is simply hold the two sheets together. You want to keep them together so the glue designs don't dry out. Let's pick a nice big design here first. Okay. You get enough in this package to do a couple of projects, or you can do one nice big project. You peel apart the two sheets. You simply press it down. Okay onto the surface. You want to make sure not to rub because it could pull the adhesive design and distort it a little bit. Oh, okay. Peel it off and then your adhesive design is already applied. Oh my goodness, Francis, that was so fast. Yeah. I almost missed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do a couple here. All right. Uh, then you cut out a piece of the foil to match the approximate size you're working with. Again, simply push the foil down okay. on top of the design. Peel it off and there you've got your beautiful design. Oh, that is Crystal great. Snowflake. Yeah. I just love it. Now, how permanent is this? This is very permanent. Um, it works extremely well on porous surfaces like mm -hmm. woods. It'll cling with no varnish necessary. Uh -huh. You can varnish it too if you'd like. Or for this instance, if you're going to be handling it, you can put the Perm Enamel Clear Gloss Glaze. All right, and I love the black and gold. We don't want to miss that. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here today, Francis. You're welcome. Here's a tip for whitewashing wood projects. Try using a damp sponge instead of a paintbrush. This allows for a smoother look 
And if you apply too much paint, you can wipe it off until you have the perfect amount. Adding holiday decorations to your home or office is such a treat. And we have a really simple and fun project. Jilly Bean, you've done it again. Well, thanks, Catherine. You know, the pumpkin candy jar is really a fun way to store your candy and keep it nice and fresh in between those hands fulls that the kids happen <laughs> to take out. Um, and how you get started with this is you use some really cool to uh, tools that Royal and Langnickel Brush have developed, and one of them is the Squeeze and Flow Brush. This is one of my favorite new tools. Boy. Now, I've already attached, I've already attached it to uh, an acrylic paint, okay. and it'll fit on any of the two-ounce size uh, paint bottles. Uh, so whether you're doing um, base coating or staining or varnishing, uh, just attach it right onto any of those. The little yellow adapter will allow you to apply it onto a smaller necked bottle. Julie Bean, don't you find we spend most of our time base coating or staining or finishing? Yes, absolutely. And this actually makes it fun to do. Right. It, it does make it something that's kind of not that fun to do, kind of exciting because it's exactly. a new idea. Exactly. Now, it also comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, and one of them is the round. And I have put it on actually a one ounce squeeze bottle, and this is some glass paint. And I'm just gonna get it started over here on the palette. See how it squeezes out of the brush here? Right. And while I'm waiting for my lid to dry, I could start in on the glass painting. You can just put your design right under the glass itself. And I can, I could have used a regular brush, but this squeeze and flow is just kind of a fun way to do this. And I'm just gonna pick up some of my yellow paint there and just go right over my design. Oh, this is wonderful. So you don't have to trace it on or anything. Just go ahead and fill in. Now I notice you're using this little yellow thing. What is the purpose of this? Okay, that's the adapter for the smaller necked bottles. Okay. Um, they, most of the two ounce bottles come in two different sized necks and so that allows you to make it more versatile for any of the different types of paints. Fantastic. Okay. Um, then let's go back to our design here. Um, we have for getting going on the rest of the design is the new Aqualine brushes. And these have the acrylic handle. Now I'm just gonna corner load some of this darker orange color to get my design started here. Now these acrylic handles are great. Uh, you can leave them sitting in water. You're not gonna lose, or you're not gonna have loose paint, you know, chipping off of the handle from overextended use in water. And these have really nice chisel edges for doing all of your floated color and, you know, the more detailed base coating of your design. And are these designed specifically for acrylic paints? You know, these are best for any of your water-based paints, which are acrylics or watercolors. You can use them for oils. You just want to make sure that you're careful to um, use a uh, odorless turp uh, when you clean them up so that okay. you're not ru ruining the bristles of these. Once I get these backgrounds floated in here, um, I'm going to switch to this next design here. You're just going to fill in with your details. Uh, there again, you can just use your other shapes and sizes. I would just go ahead and add little, you know, details here and there, a little yellow on each side. I could add, you know, little eyeballs in here. And by making the eyes different shapes and sizes, you don't have to keep them exactly the same. It makes them look more fun and silly. Okay. So, um, the also the leaves uh, can be done with uh, either the squeeze and flow or the Aqualon brushes. And then once you're all done, you're gonna to wanna to varnish. And there again, the squeeze and flow is great for varnishing your design. So just squeeze it out and go ahead and varnish with a glossy varnish. It just looks fabulous. And in between time, you just wanna make sure that you keep it wet, you don't want the paint or the varnish to dry in your bristles. So either cover it with a paper towel or you can set it in the Royal and Lang Nickel Brush Basin here, which is uh, the Soak and Clean. And you'll notice I've got one sitting in here. And because of this little well that it sits in, it keeps the bristles nice and straight so they're not bending in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Okay, so that works out very handy. This also has three different 
um, divisions in it so that when you're painting, you can have one for your dirty or your dark colors, one for your lighter colors, and then one for a final clean rinse. That's great, so you're not changing your water constantly. Exactly. Wonderful, well exactly. thank you so much. These are such wonderfully important tools. Thanks. Coming up next, Joan Fee will be here with Aline's new book. Stay tuned. Oh, we've got books everywhere today. They're just all over the place. I've seen some even back here. We have books galore. We have been so busy with like talented designers like you and Darcy and Cheryl Ball. We have books, books galore, like I said. Yes, we do. And let's start out with this incredible Shrink It book. Isn't this wonderful? Uh, well, Shrink It's my favorite mm -hmm. project to uh, work with. So, uh, Yes, we have wonderful designs in there. Heidi made these great pins. Mm -hmm. And what's great about the books is they have full-size patterns in there. Oh. So all you need is the products. They like to shrink it, and mm -hmm. um, then you can make great projects. Oh, let's look at this book real quick, Joan. Okay. And it's just full of some great oh, yes. photography and how-tos. Yes, indeedy. I bet you had a good time putting this together. Oh, and it's so colorful. Look, you can make presents with the bottles here, and you can make the great jewelry oh, like we were seeing. Cute. And like I was talking about the patterns, there they are. There they are. And then we've got a box book. Everyone's been begging for this kind of an idea book. And beautiful, beautiful boxes. Lauren made these great ones on the front cover using decoupage paper. So quick and easy to yes. do. You can make boxes with napkins, tissue paper, just about anything. All kinds of ideas. And then we've got another one called Captured Under Glass. And I think you know a little bit about that book. You <laughs> and Darcy created the wonderful projects in this book. Very sophisticated, very lovely. Oh, darling, thank you. <laughs> we did have a good time with this. And whenever we get into this a little farther, I want to show you actually how we did the plate we're looking at. But then here's another idea that we did with glass and old photographs. It's beautiful. The thing about all of this is that it has a little bit of a, an edge to it with the 3D uh, glue and then the foil that goes around right. the edge that really adds to very the nice touch. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get into how you do this. Okay. All right, we've got just a glass plate, and then you take your black crepe paper, and you write on it with the, I mean, tissue paper, and you write on it with your gold paint pen. And there are so many different colors of the tissue that you can mix and match and have it uh, nice oh, colors yes. for your own home decor. And then look at this napkin that we found. I'm going to finish cutting out just a little bit of the border. Now, the one that you saw before is done with uh, wallpaper. And we did use the border to uh, go around the edge of it. Wouldn't it be great to use the wallpaper that you have in your kitchen oh. and then make some great plates to match? It would. Now, if you'll put some uh, reverse collage glue on there. Oh, just on the back of the plate? Left this on there. Uh -huh. Now, is enough? what is so neat about this whole idea is that a few years ago, Darcy and I were just playing. And I actually got a chip and dip tray and started gluing napkins to the back of it. And we thought, you know, this is a great idea. Why not take it a step further and really do some unique decoupaging with Am it? Am I doing and too that's much how here? We did it. No. There we go. I'm gonna... And I'm going to go just to one side with this and kind of pat it down. I'll lay that down. There we go. All right. Can I go ahead and pat that down a little bit more as I need to do that? And make sure you're working on the reverse side of your plate. Right. If you're working on a vase, you work on the inside of the vase, right? Yes. And then you want to put glue Need some over more? the napkin. Yeah, let's do put a little bit more on there. You can't get too much, and I know it's kind of confusing that you see it all milky right now, but that will dry completely as you saw in the project we looked at first. It's nice and clear, right. And then just place this face down into your project like such. You're so talented. Oh, Joan, I just like to play. They call <laughs> me a mad scientist sometimes. <laughs> Now let's flip that over and I'll you show you. The, yeah, um, you would definitely want to put, put the glue over that uh, coat of it. Uh, and then just trim it around the edge, like so. And like you're talking, that's going to dry clear. Uh -huh. So I know some of projects you have actually added extra glue to have like a neat textured you're look right. on the back of the clear plate. That's beautiful. Now, won't this be cute? Now you'd want to go in with your 3D foiling glue and right. your foil and put a nice edge on it. And voila, what a cool little idea and what a cool gift. Yes, <laughs> and it's all, all the instructions are in the Captured Under That's Glass right. book. And look at this, beautiful. there's another beautiful wow. idea, Joan. Just using some paint and um, posters, all the ideas are inside the book. Call your operators and they'll let you know even the latest books that we have out too. Great, thanks for showing this to us today. Yeah.
Coming up next, today's Watch and Win winner. Here's another useful tip. When using paint, glue, or other craft supplies, always follow the manufacturer's instructions to achieve the best results. Often, similar looking products will have very different directions. Hooray, it's time for Watch and Win, and we've got a great prize, and we're going to draw somebody's name out of here, and there's just no telling what we'll do. Uh -oh. And there's no telling what you're going to do, Patty. <laughs> Today, though, the prize for the winner is Zeline's Attacky Lady Book. It's a 1995 value, and you're going to love it. It's got lots of history in it. And Let's you're find in out. There. Let's find out who the winner is, Heidi. I'll choose. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Go way down. Oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh, <laughs> oh, from South Dakota. Debbie Pasika. Pasika from Black Hawk, South Dakota. Oh, right, Debbie. Yeah. Call us anytime today at 1-800-825-3363 to claim this great watch and win prize. That's right. And <laughs> we do want to thank today Lucille Lavin and Yvonne Lord for the Dress Heidi and Dress Skylar contest winner. So thank you again. Yeah. Now, tomorrow we're going to do rubber stamping. It's going to take on a whole new look. Now you can create custom stamps from your own artwork using photographs. We're going to show you just how easy it is. And Sabrina Salmons will bring a beautiful hand-painted room divider. And Maria Marius will chat about buttons. Ooh, I'm going to be there. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye-bye.